After being exposed for using cheats to speed up my videos, I want you to know that I'll never again touch console commands. Oh shit. So the way this works is I'm going to be only declaring war for personal unions. I'm not going to be doing any sort of like conquest or, or even any HRE stuff. It's just all about the personal unions and we'll see how far we can get. If you haven't already gone and watched my No Troops Challenges France, because we've got quite a few personal unions in that and that's sort of what's triggered this for me. But do it after the video, don't mess up my watch time. So with this mission tree we can get uh, personal unions on Bohemia, Poland, Hungary, uh, Milan, I think maybe one or two others. I don't think that that's how we'll be getting them. I think this disputed succession thing is going to be the main thing here. Let's rival the people who rivaled us just to try and make sure we're as friendly with as many nations as possible. All right, to get our mission for the personal union against Bohemia, we have to ally a bunch of electors. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Or at least get them to 100 uh, opinion. All right, there's the mess of alliances done. I right, might as well royal marry uh, Brandenburg because, like, realistically, I think I'm probably going to keep the round as an ally. Bohemia's not allied anyone scary, so this is uh, actually kind of ideal. And there it is. Restoration union. Let's get it going. I can't be that gung-ho about this. I do need to be a little bit patient. Lads, if you're looking for a new RTS RPG game, then look no further than the sponsor of today's video, Kingdom Maker. This unique medieval fantasy game combines the best elements of these genres to create a witty and engaging experience. Not just that, it's also massively multiplayer, leading to fully immersive gameplay. You can interact with the world and other players using nobles, who serve as your avatars. They can be used for trading, research, combat, and more. So what's the combat actually like? Well, think Total War, but with super customizable armies. You can spectate battles in real time or dogpile on the nearest unsuspecting victim. These fights are announced in global chat, so you can always get involved. Beyond this, Kingdom Maker has a wonderful art style with engaging social systems and designs around every corner. There's a little something for everyone here. Right now, it's free to play on iOS and Android, and you can use my link in the description to download it. I would highly recommend you do so, because it's a lot of fun. But if they want to go and try and siege down a mountain fort, they are more than welcome to. Fingers crossed we can beat this army. This is gonna be really- Oh, or, or they could just nip past me. That's also fine. Damn, how much maneuver have you got? Three? <laughs> really? I'm gonna be chasing this army for the rest of my days. And for our first event this game, loser stability. Wonderful. Can't let this fall, so we'll just quickly nip in. Take them out. And nip out again. Okay, there's actually quite a few troops here. To the point where I'm actually gonna get loans out and uh, make sure I do this properly, because I'm not about to fail this challenge in the first, what, five years? <laughs> Jesus Christ, that was close. Okay, I really need to win this Siege of Prague before they beat Vienna. This is kind of ridiculous. There we go. Uh, sure, we'll let East Friese come in. Lovely. Okay, I think we should be safe now. All right, we're just going to slowly but surely take them out here. No need to take any risk because I need to save my manpower for when I inevitably have to go after someone else like uh, Milan or Hungary or... Ooh, that's a good idea. You. <laughs> Let me royal marry the Burgundians in the hopes of getting the Burgundian inheritance. I can't believe I'm trying to do a personal union challenge and I almost forgot sort of quite a key step there. Okay, thank you. Did not want to have to take Prague again. All right. How how much have we got left of this? There's a slight coalition, but nothing too big. Minus 16. All right. I should be able to get that by literally just doing this. Uh, okay, so <laughs> my future personal union member, Hungary, declared war on Bosnia and their capital has fallen to the Bosnians. That's impressive stuff. Did not know you could do that badly. All right, so there's our personal union with the Bohemians. Wonderful. Instantly disloyal. But that's fine. They'll, they'll come to love me in time. All right, control Bohemia. Thank you very much. Gives me legitimacy and yearly imperial growth modifier, which I'm really not going to do anything with. Oh, decline of Hungary can happen now. That is interesting. I think I should probably wait for them to beat the uh, Bosnians first. Meanwhile, the Ottomans haven't actually done anything. It's been four years. They haven't even taken out Byzantium. Okay, I'm on Hungary. Let's just let's finish this one up. In fact, I'm just going to declare war on them now. I'm going to dissolve my alliance with Brandenburg because they're not voting for me anymore. Bohemia is still voting for... <laughs> <laughs> the Brandenburgers. All right, man. Ooh, alliance with Burgundy. Keep you in uh, in good shape. All right, now's our time. We've got good relations. All right, let's uh, get rid of that. Quick school for insult should take care of that. I'll call in Saxony in the Palatinate. Why not? All right, so off we pop. Straight to Pest. Was that a mothboard fort? No, okay. <laughs> Probably put an actual general on this, uh, <laughs> this army. Jesus Christ. I've been keeping an eye on uh, Disputed Succession, but I don't really... S hey, buddy. Hey. Six, on monarch death, he's 44. Succession war between Aragon and Austria. Okay. Okay, this could be big. This could go well. Oh, really, Saxony? I'll have to come and bail you out. Yeah, my general plan was to wait for um, completing Diplo ideas before chasing the disputed succession. But Castile is too delicious of a target. And above all, it's the ability to pause the peasants' war because there is no way that we're going to get all of our manpower back because we're the Holy Roman Emperor. I'd rather not fight a two-star general, so I think I might 
just out siege him? Ah, uh, I don't know. I should probably try and take this out. Yep, they backed up. We actually have our own two-star general. He's a 2-4. Go on, get in there. Thank you. All right, they're already on low. <laughs> the power of having a vassal swarm, huh? Okay, this would result in a uh, significant coalition, which is bad. I don't think I'll be able to get here in time. Seven, I really can't afford these loans right now. Look, I, I will pay you back. I'm about to take over an entire nation. My credit score is good. Oh, okay, we actually made it. Brilliant. Just constantly checking out Castile to make sure he doesn't have an heir. Cross unions can be quite confusing. There's a whole guide um, that I'll probably link in the description. That's insane. It's an incredible guide. It was made by a Twix, I believe. Okay, that's a loss. That's fine. Pulling out of that. All right, that should actually do it. Union with Austria. Um, I kind of want to stay in this war for a little bit longer just because of the aggressive expansion. Okay, well, that's probably the Palatinate done. I just want to go liberate his capital because I really do not want him going down and break his alliance with me because then I lose the, uh, <laughs> the... Then I lose his vote, which I do not want to lose. Taking out more loans. Okay, this is not the ideal situation here. Uh, okay. Why? I'm about to lose another battle. Okay. <laughs> I need the Teutons out of this war, please. Honestly, just give me your money and leave. I, I don't. I don't want to have to deal with you. I'm seeing that two-star general chasing me down. Yep, I was right. Oh, okay. This is getting super painful. He's killed so many. How many of my men has he killed? He's got like 70,000. I'm just trying to prolong this as long as possible. That's why you don't have as much of a coalition. There you go. That's all I wanted. Now 20,000 of my men are dead. But I get 600 ducats though, so there's that. Ah, this presents a, a thing. So we're now at war with uh, a lot of a lot of people. Okay. <laughs> right, well, let's get this going. Union with Hungary. We're going to need your help, buddy. We need to unify. And I'm going to call the the Avengers. And by that, I mean Cologne, Saxony, and, uh, and well, mines. Okay, so he's called in his allies. We are outnumbered. I'm going to guess that Castile's disloyal. Yeah, they are. Okay, brilliant. Hungary's inherited Croatia. That's nice. I think it's probably best if we just take them out piecemeal here. If I take a union with Castile, no one would... What? No one would... What? I get so much aggressive expansion for taking out uh, Hungary and Bohemia, but I get zero aggressive expansion for getting a union over... Okay, sure. Burgundy's not got an heir either. I imagine there would be a coalition, but we should be fine. All right, this one's going to be a massive grind, so we're going to take it literally one step at a time. We're going to have to go and take out Toledo, and for that, we're going to have to take out everyone else. So I think if we do it piecemeal, and we don't go into Castile before we're ready, and we take out the Pope, we take out Venice before anything else, I think we should be fine. Tell you what, this was a, a quicker start than I was expecting with the Percy Union stuff. We're currently seven out of five diplomatic relations. Okay, that's an interesting idea you have there. You've decided to declare war on, on England. Okay, well, I, I suppose you're trying to get me more land. I appreciate that. France announced me as their new rival. Well, pretty soon, buddy, I'll be everywhere. If I win this war, yeah, <laughs> I'll be I'll be in decent shape. It might be an idea to let it go and let Aragon have the post union over Castile and then royal marry Aragon and get them both. Eh, well, I've done this way now. <laughs> We're committed. We go ahead and not win that. Thank you. Much obliged. All right, let's go save. Okay, well, there's no saving that. <laughs> I tried. I'm actually feeling tired from how grindy this war is going to be. I know it. I can feel it in my bones that I'm going to have to take fort by fort really slowly. Jesus Christ, I think the army had a mind of its own. <laughs> I did not tell it to march in there, but it did. All right, that's the Venetians out, at least. So it gives us a little bit of money for our war chest. I'm dying. I don't have any manpower. I need to stop for a while. Because if I've accepted this is going to be a grindy war, I need to play the long game. Uh, which means mercenaries. The Ottomans have declared war on Albania. Oh, I was going to get a personal union with them. I'm going to risk it here and actually fight this. They instantly won it as I was there. Really? I was knocking at the gates and they won. They gave out just a second before. What the hell? Cologne. All right, cool. Yeah, thanks. Excellent. That's it. They're whittling down my allies. This is not how I want this to go. I've probably been like militarily the least effective I've been in any video in this one. It's been horrible, but I am slowly isolating him. Finally, some ideas. Obviously, we are going to take, well, it's either diplomatic or diplomatic. I can do more with in terms of the uh, breaking and, and making of, uh, of royal marriages. So I probably want to take that. But this liberty desire is always good. We're going to go for diplomatic first. Try and get as many personal unions as possible. Going to regret that, I think. Man, some people actually despise me. Because of my uh, personal union exploits. I was once dared by Tom to ask a woman out by uh, uh, asking if she wanted to form a personal union with me. The logic in that, I I, I fail to see. All right, let's play with state done. And now the long road into Iberia. No one is to march into Castile, okay? Not a single person is to march into Castile. Okay, and I've instantly got to my reputation minus one. Stunning. Yep, you can have military access if you're fighting the Ottoman scope. Wasn't paying attention. I was distracted by the Pope. Lads, if you want to do anything anytime soon, I swear to God, the AI is worse in terms of being your ally. The AI, look, look, the enemy AI is so much better in this patch. But your own allies, they're just horrible. They don't want to do anything. Okay, they have Miltech 3. I'm about to get Miltech 4. In fact, I'm going to get an advisor to make that happen a little bit quicker. And I should probably get an advisor here. Oh, uh, hey, what's up? You want to, yep, cool. <laughs> I could have gone poorly. Hey again, you just turn it up. 
Yep, wanna go? Sure. We'll take four. Lovely. All right, there's a siege of Roussillon. Uh, we're gonna have to now go to the mountains. <laughs> I'm gonna do that now just because we have a Miltech advantage over him. Ah, cool, you're heading back. Sweet. Uh, if you could, you know, get your ass over here, lads, that would be amazing. How do I see you? Just siege. Hungry, you coming? Yeah, we've got high war exhaustion. Why is that? Blockaded home ports. Pretty sure we can win this war without setting foot in Castile. Because I don't know, I do not want to deal with their men. No, no, no peace. There's men in Brezigau? Oh my god, there are. But they don't. Good job, Hungary. You're doing well to block of like that. <laughs> this AI is so stupid, I swear. They're still doing it. They've been doing this the last, like, couple years. Look, just look at it. Oh, my God, they broke up. This war's been going on six years now. The Hungarians really only have 5,000 troops. They actually only have... They only they only built 5,000. Okay, Hungary. All right, man. Really? Yeah, I've not been doing any Shadow Kingdom stuff. Just because... Uh, well, obviously. Okay, we only have 23% war score. I'm going to have to... March in and take Toledo. All right, Castile, this is for your own good, buddy. Don't do anything stupid. I know you have good military ideas at the start. You just need to chill, okay? You do this, and we all get to go home, okay? I think Vienna's under siege. I'm now in a siege race against the AI. But Toledo or Vienna? This is this is bad. My air is dead. Oh, we got a 516, though. That's sick. Okay, nice. Okay, there's a siege of Toledo, and they're on 21 percent Okay, brilliant. Does that mean I can do it? Please, before they take my capital. Okay, union with... Oh, that's why I had I had war operations selected, not union with Castile. Yeah, that's that's more like the coalition. Okay, I was wondering why I had... <laughs> People were screaming at their screens about that. All right, uh, yeah, that looks good to me. Okay, we lost 122,000 men there. 122,000 good men. Support loyalists, and it's... They've instantly left the coalition. All right, excellent. Let's go home. We can't go home, can we? I only have a couple of cogs. This is going to take a while to ferry everyone home. Honestly, they're not that far off of being loyal. Okay, I think I need to chill for a little bit. Burgundy, okay, Burgundy's sort of the next big target. Otherwise, I think we're kind of spent for a little bit. Okay, I do have a plan. Uh, it's called uh, go up to your allies and do this. Request relative as heir. <laughs> we're nine out of five. Jesus Christ. Okay, I'm going to ally the, the uh, Brandenburgers. I can actually pass a uh, reform, okay? Well, that's that's a thing. All right, who am I allied to that isn't voting for me? Saxony, get out of here. You're literal scum. Wait, no, I wanted to use a personal union, because then I get two. Okay, well, whatever, it's fine. We're gonna go after Brandenburg first. We're gonna go after each of the electors in turn and force personal unions on all of them. So start with Brandenburg. Carry favors, and this is what this is the plan from now on. Come on, we desperately need that. If I can get it early, then this 47-year-old goes and Maya gets put in place. Oh, thank God, I <laughs> don't need that. Let's kill three statesmen for half the cost. Thank you very much. Okay, that terrified me for a second there. Okay. <laughs> don't, don't show me events and that sort of stuff, man. It's, it's horrible. Okay, we need an air. How old are you? 19. Produce an air. Play quickly. Oh, nice. They've annexed one of their vassals. I get a mission if they uh, <laughs> annex the second one. I don't know what happened here, but I've got a mission apparently. Okay. Diplomatic relations plus one. Yes, please. Desperately. Ooh. At least four, currently three countries, excluding Austria, have opinions. And at present, at least five continents. Jesus Christ. Five continents. That's a lot, man. That's a lot. That's that's everywhere. A 242. Two. Good. Four in Diplo. We're done with this one in Diplo. Bullshit. <laughs> oh my god, finally. It's it's been a while, lads. It's been a while. I won't lie to you. This first union game is kind of a kind of a waiting game. But I can request relative to air once this guy dies. Fingers crossed. I have the favors for it. Meanwhile, Burgundy still doesn't have an air. And everyone's loyal. And I'm making a lot of money. Oh, that's what we've been waiting for. Alright, there we go. Request relative as air. A country in the same region getting 20 aggressive expansion. Jesus Christ. But I'll take it. There you go. Albrecht von Habsburg. Why is he a better ruler than mine? Why does he have the same name as my guy? But but he's just better. The guy's 57, so that should, we should get him on our throne pretty easy. I would love to go to war with the Ottomans right now. <laughs> For a holy war? Are you kidding me? They just declared war in the uh, on the Mamluks. <laughs> this is the main reason you do personal reunions. But I can't because it's not a personal union war. Oh. Well, that's lovely. Okay, so we've got another personal union there, lads. Austrian lowlands, thank you very much. How many are we on now? Okay, we've got four. And spread the von Habsburg is, is a thing now. I shouldn't have clicked that because um, I can't actually annex anyone for a while. But that doesn't matter. It's fine. I mean, that'll, that'll do. All right, we're also going to take influence ideas. We're going to keep our union with, with Burgundy, obviously. I don't care if I have to fight France. It'll do me nicely. Ah, it's another mission done. Recover Silesia. Lovely. Now, I could get a personal union Casabelli on... Austria, if I just take these provinces. Depending on how the challenge goes, I might do that. <laughs> but that puts us uh, at a pretty good standing right now. Come on, France, do something. <laughs> do something. You know you want to. Do it. Do it. The succession is rock solid. What's this? Okay, nice. Okay, we've kept our union. Come on, France. Come on, France. You know that mission? I could have had minus 20% compounded with my missions of minus 15% diplomatic, diplomatic uh, annexation cost and also like a further minus 10. So I could have integrated Bohemia real quick, but I, uh, I, I didn't. All right, nice. We could do another one of these. I get another diplomatic reputation. Nice. Is there peace internally? There is. I've got loads of imperial authority. <laughs> I didn't even mean to. Oh, he died. Mm, you got a von Habsburg immediately. 
You lucky bastard. What have I done this time? I've balanced the estates. Okay. Sweet. <laughs> We're fulfilling missions without meaning to, which is great. I've got another one here. Uh, request relative as heir. It's another 20 aggressive expansion, but that's fine. Yeah, slowly, slowly but surely spreading the Von Habsburgs everywhere. Speaking of, now I have a theory, right? I've taken the transfer subject peace treaty, which means I could take like Norway and Sweden off of Denmark, provided I occupy their capitals. I don't know if that will work, but I think that counts in the spirit of it. So the, technically the Casas Belli is not a person union Casas Belli, but it's in the aim of taking the personal units, which I think counts. I also want to call in Poland just for fun. All right, let's go. Let's slip the dogs of war. <laughs> Ulbricht is a three siege. This is what we want to see. You guys can't get over here, can you? Oh, you can. Lovely. Well, why are you leaving 11,000 men behind? You're, you're kind of our main powerhouse here, Castile. This is, this is bad. They lost their personal union with Lithuania. How? <laughs> well, that makes things interesting, doesn't it? All right, we're at war with the French as well. This is a proper world war. Look at that. Okay. This is a massive war. Jesus Christ. Somehow the English aren't involved. I feel like they would be involved. Condottieri? No, thank you. Oh, here we go. The Burgundians taking out the Poles. Did you just stack wipe them? Glad you're on my side, mate. It'll be really funny if I'm wrong about this. And I can't actually uh, take their... <laughs> take their, them as a personal union. Damn, we've just marched straight through the Poles. Surely they're one out. We've got 36% against you. You, you. you still want in? Are you sure? All right, man. My only concern is I don't actually have a way to, to occupy. <laughs> I don't actually have a way to occupy this lot. <laughs> I suppose through Lithuania and through Muscovy. All right, I'm going to switch over to the French front. All right, Poland. Poland's still on high for some weird reason. I have occupied your entire nation. Oh, ongoing battles, that's why. And that should do it. Medium. Uh, I don't really care about the over ending overlord ship, to be honest. I think they can take Danzig as a vassal. Look, we'll, we'll humiliate and take his... We'll just, yeah, we'll just humiliate. There you go. But you're a little bit worried. Now, France, huh? Time for the boys to turn up. I don't know how many troops we've got here. Not that many. Screw it. We're going in anyway. Nice. The Burgundians came with us. I'm going to go straight to Paris. All right, if you could do something useful over here, Castile. Like this. Instead of just building troops and sitting in there. In fact, I want to build some cannons. Time for burger loans. Uh-oh. That's a lot of troops. All right, my four cannons are ready. Unprotected. Dash to Paris. Don't go... Th I mean, they want to go through two armies. Or you could just not do that. Okay, we won the Siege of Paris before we got there. That's kind of awkward. Oh, you're on, on medium, are you, France? Uh-oh. Uh, where's the rest of the troops? Lads, lads. We need to stay unified. Oh, God. <laughs> I've had such a shambolic campaign in my life. Do not like the look of all these troops surrounding me. I do not like the look of that at all. If we could win the siege, where are the Bohemians? Did they just die? I think they died. All right, they'll give me war operations, which I think is fitting. I don't really think I could do anything else to France. There you go. All right, I can get military access through most of these lands. Let's do it. All right, access through Poland, access through uh, Lithuania, access through Muscovy. It should give us enough to go and march up into Sweden. Sweet Jesus, our diplomatic power is gone. Wow, that was a ridiculously quick siege. 57 days. Oh, nice. Province war score cost minus 20%. Hooray. We do get the lowered impact on stability from diplomatic actions next, which is ideal for what we're going to be trying to do. Ooh, Saxony. I thought we were allied. No, we're not. It's a shame. Gonna blow up Stockholm. And he's dead. <laughs> that was his last action, was to blow up Stockholm. We might actually get some diplo power for once. So that's nice. Now, the moment of truth. I can take them as a, vas as a vassal. Nice. Look at that. I can just take Sweden. I can't take them both, but I can definitely take one of them. Well, that makes this worth it. All right, I've got 999 admin power whilst I have three stability. No, I don't have three stability because I lost them. Well, power the stability, I suppose. When can I integrate you? 98. 524 becomes... Uh, no, thank you. Usually you'd want a 524, but I, I need like a, a 060. I'm going to go ahead and take uh, Gush for expansion impact my 10%. And also, I'm going to start a golden era. As always, that breaks my UI, which I always forget about until it happens. Come on, there we go. Okay, you're not quite like your father, but you'll do. When, uh, 650. We will definitely take that. Okay, they'll give it to us. All right. Uh, coalition of barely anyone. Uh, let's get our troops out of there so we make sure we're exiled. All right, there we go. Sweden is now ours. I feel it, Sweden. Oh, you're a vassal. Not even a personal union. I still feel like that counts. <laughs> I'm going to pretend they're a personal union. <laughs> Might have just messed up the challenge, but that's okay. <laughs> All right, now I need to get rid of the military access everywhere. Ah, uh, yes, the big brain move of taking expansion ideas before exploration. Brilliant. Just purely brilliant. You're just... You're so dumb, Castile. You just sat there in this one province with the Bohemians who, for some reason, think you're cool and keep wanting to hang out with you. You're a terrible influence on them. And after all those years, my troops have actually finally come home. It's been a while. Come on, we can almost do it. We can almost do it. All right. Lowered impact from diplomatic action. So now I can break um, royal marriages at will, pretty much. Anyone who doesn't have an heir, I'm royal marrying. I'll just break it if they get an heir. Uh, this is going to be a bad time for you, Brandenburg. We'll be real with you, chief. <laughs> I'll see you in five years. <laughs> yeah, no, you'll you'll understand why in a couple of years why this isn't, this isn't that kind of a party. 11 out of 6. Jesus Christ. 
To be honest, do I even need some of these? Like, Saxony, I'm not allied to. Uh, I'm going to take over Brandenburg. Did you get... Okay, he he got one instantly. All right, so let's uh, break our royal ties here. We lose 10 prestige. It used to be one. Lines off from England. Yeah, nah, I'm not about that. I'm just I'm just here for your air. Wait, Brandenburg has two personal unions. I'm about to collect three. That's going to destroy me. I can't... Dude, I can't do that. Oh, God, my, my diplomat power is going to just disappear. Let me break these royal ties now. Oh, no. Oh, Palladinate. Oh, dear. Oh, buddy. Oh, dear. There's another one. I suppose we should start taking some Diplotech. It cost me 300. That's how far I am behind. No, oh, dude, England. It's not happening, bro. I'll take that. I'll take a Reich for I didn't even read it. It just gave me idea costs and I was in. I'm more focused on this. Look, Brandenburg, this is going to hurt me more than it hurts you, okay? You're going to feel a slight pinch and then suddenly you'll be under a personal union. Same goes for you, Ansbach and, and Beirut. Come on, don't get in there in the next, like, 10 seconds, please. Income from vassals. Yes, please. It's a stupid increase in money. October. All right, November. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Remember me? Okay, I was expecting to have to fight that one. I didn't expect to just to get it for free. <laughs> it's another elector I've got. I don't... So, I've just gotten the Palatinate as well. Okay. How many is that now? One, two, three, four, five. I'm about to get a couple more as well. Uh, let me stop giving you income, please. I don't I don't really need to. Uh, there's the Siege of Berlin. Okay, Brandenburg will vote for me. Bohemia will vote for me. The Platinum will vote for me. That's three. You guys likely won't ever unify behind a single guy, which means I need the Diplo power, so I'm going to dissolve these. Okay, so I may or may not have dissolved an alliance whilst at war, which lost me a couple of stability. That's... <laughs> I'm very tired, okay? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Like, fortunately, I've got this, all this spare admin power. I can just boost things a lot. It only cost me like 79. All right. Union with Brandenburg. How, okay. How long is that going to take? Minus 23. Okay. What about now? <laughs> there you go. All right. That's a union there. And that's that's a lot more unions, actually. Okay. That's that's a hell of a lot of unions. Brandenburg is kind of disloyal. I, I lied. <laughs> Not anymore. Imperial Ascendancy. Okay. Sweet. Oh, wait. Take that. Then I can do Imperial Ascendancy, which gives diplomatic annexation cost minus 10%. Nice. So I could have stacked all these and just like really just swallowed up all of my vassals. Bohemia owns more provinces than Austria. So I can't integrate you because you own more provinces. Okay. What about you? Can I annex you? 93. The only person with disputed succession is a 71-year-old Serbian. Yeah, right. <laughs> okay, now, I don't need to... Okay, this is kind of bad, this situation. I've got one, two. I need this vote, so I need to improve relations with you as a matter of priority. I really need that. I'll have three. They'll never unify. I think I'm winning currently. I'm going to do two things that I really should have done at the start. I don't have... I need another vassal and they could have diplomatic relations plus two. Oh, well. I'm going to do this. Diplomatic annexation costs minus 5% and it disables the penalty for actually annexing them, which is excellent. This is exactly what we need. Okay, I just had to step out to take a call and... Uh it was a number that I didn't recognize, so obviously I answered it because I'm brave like that. And they uh, they instantly hung up after I said hello. So I think I'm about to be murdered. I don't really need the liberty desire reduction in subjects. They're all pretty loyal. Okay, I wish I hadn't done that. I mean, they're <laughs> on the verge of being disloyal. I'm going to quickly clear up this happy little mistake of mine. I'm going to integrate sweet. <laughs> They were always a personal union. Shut up. It's only going to take five years. Okay, well, you're not voting for me anyway, so I'm going to dissolve this alliance. Okay, I swear to God, I thought it said that Lithuania was my vassal for some reason. Knowledge sharing. I really thought I'd somehow finagled the Lithuanian throne. All right, nice. We got off one house. We could claim the throne of Serbia. I don't know if I want to do that. Oh, screw it. I'm going to lose stability because I want to take the throne of Serbia. All right, go handle that. Hungary, please. I wonder what happens when you accept a royal marriage for the Von Habsburgs at this point. Why would you do it? England, I would break that if I were you. I'd break it real quick. But to be fair, I can't actually get to England. Yeah, please give me some of that yearly. I don't know why I lost so much. I think it's from all the royal marriages. I lose four a month because I'm integrating Sweden. All right. Let's add this one to the list. Wait, what? Oh, Ragusa. This was a poor mistake. This was a poor, poor mistake to declare war on the Serbians. <laughs> you poor bastard. The Serbs are actually disloyal. I find very amusing. There's the truth of Denmark. Oh, 21. Hang on. I mean, what did you expect? I don't know. Do I just do I just wait it out? I feel like he's 21. The chances of him getting there are pretty, pretty good. But I also think if I declare war on him, I'm not going to be able to get the war score required because, you know, the English Navy is a thing. Well, how many heavies? We've got four heavies here. Three heavies here. Seven heavies. And you have six heavies. We could, we might be able to beat them. All right. You know what? We don't have enough sailors. We have virtually none. I need a coastline. <laughs> But I can't get a coastline. I, look, I don't know. I just want to wipe these with you. I don't, I don't need this. Oh, it's an Austrian for... Mm. Oh, Naples. Hey, do you want a royal marriage, buddy? <laughs> the shotgun approach really does work. Okay, he's 44, and that would trigger a war between me and Aragon. I'll screw it. Let's see what happens. Go! Oh, take on the English Navy. Honestly, I'm kind of just unsure as to what to do here. Which has plunged me to war against Aragon as well. Like, we could take out the, uh, this lot. Oh! Oh! Ooh, that's bad. That's bad. Think if we support the throne. Sure, why not? I, I think that if we can kick out the Portuguese, we might be able to land troops in England. Well, this kind of messes things up, doesn't it? 
I mean, I still, I'm, I can still get the claim. It's just I've lost the Von Habsburg. You really want to do this again? Really, England, bro, uh, France, I, I don't understand you. Why would you do this to yourself? You're just giving me war, more war score. I, and I can actually fight you. <laughs> You're giving me something to do. Yeah, I need to get, I need to get Portugal this war. They're on medium. We've got 29%. Portugal knows treaties. You have treaties with France? You're allied with France? Dude. I mean, sure. Let's let's do that. Okay. That's the Portuguese out. Ah, of course, the French Navy is going to be an issue. It's going to blow up every four I see. That's the plan. Come on. That one's already lost, but I can fight this one. Nice. Do you think we could... No way. 57%? Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. I mean, they'll they'll smash me, though. There's, I've got no allies. Glad I didn't have to find out. It's going to go to Paris. I think we do have naval dominance. I don't know how that's happened. Yeah, we we have seven characters there. One. Okay. We land troops. I've got four little cogs. Go on. Go on, Castile. They've taken out the English Navy. All right, and we've, uh, we've annexed uh, Scandinavia, Sweden. It's fine. That's actually given us more of a Navy and a coastline. This is good. Because of that, I can start uh, integrating uh, the Bohemians. Okay, how many cogs do I have left? I don't think many. Okay, I need one province. If I can get one province, I can uh, hire a bunch of mercenaries. Why do I have troops here? Oh, right. Yes, of course, the Scandinavians. Just French peasants everywhere. It's kind of messy. All right, let's upgrade you twice. Make you a level three advisor. That's where I'm spending all my money at this moment in time. All right, Hungary, I'm gonna need you to back me on this one. Okay, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, sorry about that, Hungary, bro. <laughs> my bad. Oh, meteorite, look at that. Plus one stability. Even the game's giving me nice events now. Did you take military ideas? You took offensive ideas. I think I'm gonna get my ass kicked if I fight this. Let's find out. Oh, they just didn't do it. They didn't reinforce. That'll do me nicely. Oh no, my mouse isn't working. <laughs> All right, see if we can liberate Pest. There we go. He should have nowhere to retreat to, to be honest. There you go. Yeah, he's, he's trapped behind enemy lines. Look at that. Goodbye, France. I've missed him. I'm sort of heavily spiraling into debt, but that's okay. I'm basically purchasing the thrones of Europe. Oh, that's the French dealt with. How much do we need for a union with Britain? Minus 144. Right. Let's get to Calais. Let's see what we can do. There are more French troops. Well, I think there were more French troops. I think they're gone now. Oops. Well, there go the pretend rolls. I suppose that's good for me because they're a personal union. I can't even remember who I've got in my personal unions. I've got so many. All right, we're going to try and sneak them across four troops at a time. I don't like the look of that. Burgundy, protect me. We're going in. Why are you taking these cogs? Okay, that's fine. A lot, a lot more cogs. But that's, that's okay. Burgundy securing naval dominance. I like this. Okay, go, 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 go. Cross the channel. Go. <laughs> Take liberty, desire. Thank you very much. And we've got scythes. Just go. Just go. Get to London. I mean, what a cursed world we created where the English have allied the French. I think we've actually just lost naval superiority as well. Yeah, we have. Just as I got across. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, boys, you got 30,000 Austrians in your land. It's up to you guys. You got to win this war for us. We go blockade. Oh, brilliant. Can someone deal with that? <laughs> someone back home? Oh, God. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay, the Austrian Navy is, is not half bad. What the hell is going on? Okay, no, we, we retreat. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Invasion. Nope, we're fine. I actually did clear up my rebels as well. Oh, come on. <laughs> How long has this siege been going on for? 469 days. There it is. There's the union with England. <laughs> oh, man. I mean, I can make them loyal pretty easy. Especially if I do something like this. There you go. They're loyal. All right, ladies and gentlemen. I think to, to recap, we have um, <laughs> Percy Unions over the entirety of Europe. We didn't get Naples, unfortunately. But that's fine. Uh, we also have Austria and Scandinavia, which is cursed. How many Percy Unions do we have in the end? We've got uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 Percy Unions. We're still getting 8 Diplo Power a month. We're 5 over our relations. <laughs> Live it. That's fine. Um, and we'd probably go about uh, integrating now. So it would only take about seven years each time. So that, that wouldn't be too bad. And it'd probably integrate Bohemia, then Hungary, and sort of just expand from there. In any case, lads, if you enjoyed the video, please do make sure to like and subscribe. It really does help us out. Uh, if you have any other sort of suggestions for challenges, that sort of stuff, I saw people in the comments were sort of asking how they can uh, suggest things. Uh, well, just, just do it by writing a comment. I'll read them all. Uh, also, we've released a clips channel. That's right. You can have like little digestible 10 to 60 second clips of me from both Twitch and YouTube. Um, and there's gonna be like six of those a day. So just sort of shotgun approach is the idea But there'll be a link to that in the description and a pinned comment. Uh, so go check those out Let me know what you think. Otherwise lads. I'll see you all next time. Goodbye Shout out to our patreons J Erickson 321 Shadow Singer Jado 52 Cargan Flyerton Henrique Redguard 76 Xiaomi and Charlie Demorel your support means a lot guys